Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Uncensored Solar TV, brought to you by my amazing team here, Solar Wolf Energy. And let's talk about the hot topics going on right now in solar, renewables, and basically energy consumption at all, which is cryptocurrency mining. The amount from what we're seeing, and who knows the numbers we have right now, if they're even accurate. God knows there's numerous websites right now available for you to track this, but some are kind of conflicting, which tells me that the amount being reported of who's mining and who's actually consuming what, um, I believe is still unknown. All that said, regardless, the, what we do know is the amount required to make cryptocurrency is like powering a small continent. It's, uh, it's mind blowing. I seen some numbers that uh, there was a Bitcoin miner that over the course of a year, he's gonna use the equivalent of 200,000 homes a month. I've seen one where it's going to use about 500,000 homes every two months. Like this, these numbers are crazy. These are basically small cities for some of these miners. And I don't know if there's dozens or hundreds. I'm not too well versed on crypto, but I am well versed on how much energy this does have an impact on things we could be using and developing other things, other, other forms for energy storage or whatnot for. That's my concern. We're burning through all this energy. We're slashing through all this even fossil fuel, natural gas, throughout these are finite amounts where it's like we're lighting the candle on both ends. And I think that's a concern for anyone who has children and who wants to be concerned about, you know, the whole reason we go, some of the reasons we go solar, which are the generations behind us, right? To leave the world a better place than we got it. All that said, I think this needs to have a committee of some sort or a realized look at like the, the summits every year. This needs to be investigated and some type of monitoring is my opinion. And it may not be for everybody, but I do understand that with all these countries now coming together, banning it as opposed to, I believe China has come forward and banned crypto. Uh, India's already done this. And just last week, the United States government said that they'll come out with their own they're not going to use anything that's currently uh, available, which almost seems like all these private company ones are going to be banned. Like they're almost useless and just don't know it yet. Right. It's kind of like being a dinosaur only a hundred years before extension. Like it's like you guys are already wiped out. You just need the calendar to show up and make it true. And if that's the case, then these things are already worthless. And that's what I don't understand. Um, the, the demand in the environment, is the same from what I understand the demographic of those who are really trading a lot of this Bitcoin is the same demographic that is super environment conscious. Um, that doesn't make a lot of sense. It's kind of contradicting your own beliefs and it's doing it very publicly. All that said, I hope we can kind of figure this out because this is going to turn into a massive, massive problem if it's gone unchecked. I hope to avoid this. Let me know your thoughts. I know it's a touchy subject. It's not really a typical solar driven uh, episodes we usually have here in Uncensored Solar TV, but I really want to check the temperature of people both in the industry and outside. And it is the concern for the energy usage real in the crypto world, or is it just BS to push the price down for a better buying opportunity? Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching another episode of Uncensored Solar TV. Brought to you by my amazing team here, Soul of Energy.